Hello students, welcome to my channel Biozone. In this video, I will explain monosporic embryo sac development in angiosperms. My dear students, if you are watching uh, my video first time, without fail at the end, means after watching the video, you subscribe my channel, it's free. Okay, now let us uh, study about the monosporic uh, embryo sac development in angiosperms. In the last video, I explained uh, Megasporogenesis concept. What is Megasporogenesis? The process of formation of Megaspore from Megaspore mother cell through meiotic division is called as Megasporogenesis. So that process ends in the formation of 4 Megaspores and out of 4 Megaspores, 1 Megaspore remains functional and that functional Megaspore develops into what? An embryo sac or female gametophyte. Let us discuss the development of embryo sac or female gametophyte from a single cell that is megaspore so you are you are observing uh, the megaspore cell which is uh, having a, a prominent nucleus so this nucleus undergoes mitotic divisions remember mitotic division and you know that mitotic is an equational division so this mitotic division of uh, the nucleus of megaspore gives rise to what uh, two nuclei and that condition is called as what two nucleated condition or two nucleated embryo sac and the nuclei after the formation they move to the respective pores next these two nuclei undergoes sequential migratory divisions and they are going to form four and eight nucleated conditions embryo sac right in the diagram is clearly shown so two nucleated embryo sac four nucleated embryo sac and eight nucleated embryo sac so this type what happens the free nuclear remember free nuclear type of mitral divisions occur that results in the formation of eight nucleated condition and this eight nucleated embryo sac later develops into what a mature embryo sac the diagram of this mature embryo sac is given here you see this is the egg cell and these two are cyanide cells and the two polar nuclei which are located in the center are they are present in the central cell and these are the three what antipodal cells right antipodal cells they are three in number and cyanide cells are two in number and one egg cell and one central cell so this is what uh, the structure of a mature embryo sac. So this mature embryo sac or female gametophyte is uh, uh, developed from what? This megaspore. And uh, why it is called as monosporic embryo sac development means so this uh, seven celled eight nucleated embryo sac is developed from a single cell that is megaspore. So hence it is called as monosporic embryo sac development. And uh, one more point. So here in this uh, diagram, eight nucleated embryo sac, you are observing the uh, eight nuclei. So one nucleus from this pore and one nucleus from this pore, they move to the center and they will become what polar nuclei because they are um, belonging to the two polar regions. Or they came from two polar regions, so that's why. So they are called as polar nuclei. So this is a micropylar pole and this is chelagel pole. So that's why they are called as what polar nuclei. So this is how the development of embryo sac from a megaspore is explained in your uh, NCERT textbook. And one more point, as I told you, the division of uh, uh, what a nucleus is a free nuclear type. And when this uh, mature embryo sac is going to form, so you can see one, two, three. So these are the three cells and these three are antipodal cells which are having the water cell wall whereas the two polar nuclei which are present in the central cell and they came from polar regions and uh, these uh, two nuclei fuse together and they are going to form what secondary nucleus is it clear Thank you for watching this video. In the next class, I will explain about uh, the structure of mature embryo sac in detail. Thank you for watching.